Hi and welcome to RC Kicks. On this show we're going to be building the Avanti Mark II. Now this is a car that is very controversial and it was one of those things where Tamiya took a chassis that already existed, the DFO3 I think it's called, uh, DFO3 make sure yeah DFO3 just checking and this is kit 58387 now putting the Avanti on a original chassis is controversial sticking Mark II on it is also basically stating to the world that this is the new Avanti car mm, okay um, but you've got to be open-minded now for me um, I sometimes bring cars onto the show that I wouldn't necessarily purchase myself um, a classic example of that was the Benz here and when you get things on the show that you wouldn't necessarily purchase yourself you kind of aren't really sure whether you're gonna like them or not but then sometimes they surprise you just like this car this is a fantastic chassis I love it I use it way more than I thought I would um, I've done modifications to it and I've put extra money into it to improve it all the time and I drive it loads so sometimes you can be completely wrong of what you expect at the beginning to what you actually end up driving uh, another example of that is the Schumacher XLS a big hero car of mine that I've wanted for a long time brought it on the show really uh, passionate about it love the look of it it's a beautiful looking car but once I started building it I actually hated building it I didn't enjoy it at all and it really put me off now I still love the car and I'll still stick with it and it drives really well but um, it changed the way I felt about the car also I wish I'd done other things to it like put the pro gearbox in and stuff like that but we digress so you're never quite sure um, and that's where I stand with the Avanti Mark II, to be quite honest with you. I honestly don't know. Now, I'm hoping that uh, as I build it, paint it, drive it, it starts to impress me and, uh, and things like that. And I end up being happy to have it as part of the collection, not just having the car on the core wall because it's an Avanti and it fills in every Avanti that I've got. So I honestly don't know. I also have the Avanti Aero coming, which again is another car that is even uglier than this one. Um, so now this one has potential that one I think is ugly as sin but that was the last car in the Avanti collection I've now got one of every Avanti cars ever made apart from the ready to run ones which I'll probably add at some point down the line anyway I digress so right let's open the box up lay everything out let's take a look at what's in the box and then I'll undo all the packaging and uh, we'll kick off page one. I'll do the usual YouTube clap so you don't have to sit through the next 35 minutes of me doing that. See you soon. So there you go, all done, lovely. Right, first thing it's asking us to do is to do the ball diffs. Now I've laid everything out. One thing I did notice is that this kit didn't have bag A, B, C and D. Now I don't know whether the person that had this kit for me took them out of the bags or not I honestly don't know so it's nothing I can't work from that's fine it comes with the bearings which is nice there's four uh, brass bushes so I've got four bearings so I can swap those out to be totally bearing in this car also it's nice to see that you get a uh, metal drive shaft and um, that was quite nice apart from that it's all business as usual really so page one let's get the ball disc done Okay, so we've just finished page five. That's the rear gearbox. And now we're gonna mount the motor. Uh, so we're moving on to page six, where we basically attach the silver can motor. Now you get a silver can motor in this car, which is quite surprising, because I don't see why anyone would run a silver can in a car like this. Um, I think that Tammy should have gone one of two ways. One, just not bothered with the motor at all. Or two, gone for a brushed motor, but for something a little bit more upmarket a little bit faster that you'd probably use in a car like this um, versus just giving you a silver can which I don't think anyone is really going to use. One thing that's really nice in this kit is there's a lot of shims so uh, when I was building this rear gearbox there was um, multiple shims on all aspects of it which is really nice because it's made it lovely and tight there's no slop so I'll give 
uh, Tamiya a big credit for that. Right, we move on to page six where we fit the motor and then we start building the back end of the car. Let's carry on. Okay, so there we go. We just finished page eight. Put the main chassis on, which is just attached by four screws at the bottom and two at the top. Um, only thing I noticed was the motor is very, very tight to the chassis. So if you were putting a brushless system um, or anything like that from a motor, if it's got extra cooling vents cut into the outside, it, it may be a bit tight. So you may have to shave off just a tiny bit. Um, if you're going to go bigger than a 540, then you may have to remove a little bit of plastic because it is super snug in there. Um, another thing I noticed was the pins with the uh, clips. There's a lot of extra bar. The bars are very long. So uh, there's a lot of movement. Now I'm pretty sure that there's a cover that holds them in place. There's no actual play in the arm itself. It's very snug here but the bar itself is a good two mil longer than what it needs to be. And normally when I've seen kits like this, they're snug. You just clip them on and they're nice and snug, but there's no real play. So it looks like it will be okay. Right, next we move on to doing page eight, number 14, which is the front diff. Nothing super special on that front. It's the same as the back, slightly different version, but it's the same principle. Then we have to build up the front uh, diff and then it gets bolted to the car with the upright for the suspension. So it's basically just almost identical on the front. So let's keep going, get it done. Right, we finished page 10. I've got the front on. I did have an issue where I put the uprights upside down, so I had to take them off. Now, I'm not overly comfortable with the way that they designed the ball at the end with the upright. There's a ball that goes through and actually holds the upright in place, but that's a lot of pressure. And because I put them on the wrong way round, when I was taking them off, I uh, went to pull the ball joint off and it actually stripped the screw straight through. So I'm going to see if they do some metal uprights to replace uh, on this kit. So if you're going to get one of these, I can recommend those for sure. When you're screwing them in, this, the, this plastic is so soft that you don't even feel a biting point. It just rounds them off straight away. So I'm a bit disappointed with that. I do like the way that the steering is uh, implemented, the way it kind of sits in the middle section. That's pretty cool how they did that. I like that. Um, also, if you put bearings in instead of using the uh, brass washers, it's really nice and uh, there's no slop in there whatsoever. So yeah, next is to do the suspension. Now the suspension is nothing special, so we'll skip over that basically. So uh, I'll be right back as soon as the suspension's done. So there you go, that was the shocks done. They're fitted, nothing special about those whatsoever. Um, from that point of view, I put the wheels on just for a bit of fun to make sure everything was working as it should do, and it's fine. So next I need to fit the electronics to the car. Um, I've actually dug out the electronics already, and I just bound up the um, transmitter and receiver. So it's pretty straightforward stuff. On these ones, these Flysky ones, you need a little binding key, 
which is really, really easy. Also, I needed to center the um, steering servo so I knew where it was. Next, put this in here. I've actually used a, um, a electronic speed controller that uses LiPo, which should be better for this because it will keep it lighter um, as well as give it a bit more power. So let's put this in here and I'll be right back. So there you go, all the electronics are in. I had a real challenge with that because space is so limited. You've only got one section to put in your ESC and then the other side, you've got no choice, but that's where your servo goes. Um, also, really, you need a half height servo, but what they've done is Tamiya have put in spaces so that it raises up the servo to allow you to screw down a full size servo, which is what I've got in here. So ideally a half height servo is the way to go. Um, that will bring down the uh, height because the steering bar actually goes up, it's not level. Um, but I could get a full uh, metal horn on the servo. So that was pretty cool, one I had lying around, but it's better than having the plastic um, version that you get with the kit. Apart from that, wiring up is not a, not difficult at all. One thing that is a pain is if you put your receiver on this side, then you can actually connect it up, but you still need a cable to run from the um, uh, electronic speed controller back round. So you've kind of got to tuck it through the battery tray, but the battery tray is quite tight. Um, I was running um, these LiPo batteries, which are, pretty much the standard sort of Tamiya size and they just about fit because of obviously you've got the bend with the cable. Um, so it is a bit of a faff to get these in and out of this car and to get the bolt through from that point of view. I did have some issues with these uprights. I um, cross-threaded this one, but as I was doing it, I over tightened it and I didn't realize it. And I basically had to put a touch of tab of glue to hold it because it was wobbling a little bit. So be a bit careful with those. That was a mistake I made. Um, but I only did a tiny little bit in case I needed to get it out again at some point um, from that point of view. So next we've got to cut out the body, put all the decals on and uh, put the wing on. So that's next. I'm a bit surprised the, the rear wing is very low. You'd assume that this would be much higher up. So the wing's gonna sit on here and it's gonna sit almost lower than this um, rear suspension. It's a bit of a strange one. Right, let's keep going. So there you go, I put the stickers on. Well, only a few. I actually took a load of the stickers off. It was looking more and more of a mess all the time and it's just too fussy and it just looked terrible. So I stripped it back to the bare minimum and I'm still not happy with it. This font does not work on this car. The, the body is very fussy anyway, but with the blue, it really pops and the swoops work. But the minute you start layering on more and more decals, it just looks a total mess. So the plan is this, I'm going to source some MCI original decals from the Avanti. I think the yellow, this one, this one, and this one will look better on here. And it also tie the car closer to the original, make it look a bit more like it's part of the family. So in an upcoming video, I'm going to do a running of the car, but also I'm going to do decal changes and I'm also going to source some carbon parts as well. So that's what's going to come next. So thanks very much. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to head over to Facebook. We've got the Facebook group. There's 1300 people talking about all types of kits. And also, if you'd like to support the channel, we have a Patreon page. I'll put a link below. Also, we've got merch coming in, so stay tuned over on the Facebook group page for any RC Kicks merch that will be out soon. Mugs, decals, all that kind of fancy stuff. So, what do you think? Mm, 
I'm not sold at the moment. I'm uh, tipping just a little bit. I think I can make it more acceptable. But do I think you should rush out and buy this car? Not really, no. Um, so much so that I actually placed an order for an Avanti Aero and I've cancelled the order because I just, no. But I think we can sprinkle a bit of love and bring this up to a point where it will fit in nicer. So stay tuned for the second instalment on this car and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.